Okay, I'm coming. I don't know <laughs> what, what the, the fuck. <laughs> oh, 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 sun, sun, sun. Wow, that is wow, that's... wow. Do you see that view? Wow. There's a bird here. No double shake. Do a headshot. All right, welcome to yet another Monkey Pixels vlog, and today we're going to anamorphic lenses because Sirio. I have no idea how to pronounce this. They sent us anamorphic lenses, the 35 millimeter and the 24 millimeter. So we're going to test these for the first time today. Also, we're going to test new monitors and those are the field world monitors. I think they're called FT6 and FR6 or something. So we're going to pull focus wirelessly while filming on the gimbal with the field world monitors on the anamorphic lenses. And that's pretty much what we're going to do. We're going to start here, outdoors, with summery, dressy, kind of cool landscape. And then we're going into the city when it's dark with really nice lights and lens flares. The whole crew is here. That was really racist. Let's still leave it in and let's start filming. All right. All right, the follow focus is working. So who wants to film, who wants to pull focus first? Ooh, by the way, people, look at the view, look at the view. So, wow, that is, wow, that, wow. Do you see that view? Wow. Okay, it's Megan. Pretty it's pretty mid, isn't it? Please uh, stand in the middle of the field. There's a bird here. This dress is from a little boutique in Marbella. Mm, Marbella. Where all the rich people go. I want you to pose for me, yes, pretty much like this. So I'm going to reveal a shot of you and then you're just going to pose a little and twist and twirl and play with the camera and shit, okay? She said. Cool. What did she say? <laughs> you just dance around here or do stuff, and he's getting closer to basically to a headshot. Okay. Do a headshot. Wait. <laughs> yeah. On it. And I'm filming. Here's a tip for everybody who wants to pull focus manually. Always try to rather ease into the focus than to overshoot. Because once you overshot, it looks hella unprofessional. So always try to be rather too far away from the focus and ease into it rather than overshoot. But let me go in the shade, then I see more. Okay. Let me go and take a shade. Oh, you didn't bring the shoes that people complain about on the YouTube. <laughs> People complain about your shoes on YouTube. I don't know what, what the, the fuck is wrong with my Stop shoes. using those shoes or what? <laughs> People. The guy literally said in one comment, oh, she's wearing those, I call it lacy shoes. Some shit like that. Okay, Which is unfortunate is that we don't have any sun because I want to test the lens flares because so far we hasn't, hasn't, we hasn't, we haven't <laughs> had any. English? English is very English much. You want to try it? What? You want to try it? No, I'm good. Because I like to do it. I'm good, I'm good. But you I would like to see the monitors. But then he has to film because this one is quite all right so far. So now. How many kilos is this? Six. We have the sun. Go in the sun. I want to see focus. Uh, I want to see. Oh, right. I saw lens flares. Yeah, yeah. I saw lens flares. And also play with the hair. <laughs> Exposure though. You're way overexposed. Like a 
wobble thing. So you're gonna be like super smooth as well of a sudden. Like this filter. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so far. Oh, 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 sun. oh sun, 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 oh, oh. sun. Recording. Recording. Focusing. So, it's the halfway point and so far I'm actually quite impressed about the monitors because we were quite far away from the camera and the signal is really with hardly any latency so it's definitely good enough to pull focus. Everything was kind of smooth and slow right now so we're trying a little bit faster approach so have her running and running after her with the gimbal and see if that makes a difference but so far we had like one minor latency issue for like half a second. But so far, this is pretty cool. Unfortunately, we're not blessed with the sun right now, so we didn't get as many lens flares as we wanted to, but we will get those tonight. And now we're going to keep testing this. But so far, I'm actually quite impressed by the lens as well as the monitors. Full reviews on this channel probably soon. Okay, I wanna have one shot where she's standing close to the city and I wanna wreck focus from her face towards the landscape. You know, this kind of like where she's in the front, but she's out of focus. So that we're going to do next. Who wants to use the gimbal? Because I want to wreck focus. No. No. <laughs> you want to? No, you can try it. Okay. This is more of a static shot anyway, so... Okay, okay people. You ready? <laughs> no double shing. Uh, now, actually, you look towards the camera, and when I tell you now, you look towards the city, but... Um, like, you stand like this, and then you point towards the city and I wreck focus on the city. You need to be higher, otherwise you can't see the city. You need to grow up. <laughs> grow up, hold girl. the gimbal lower if it's, that's probably easier. And camera and background. What's happening? When you connect the gimbal to the camera it keeps freezing it's an issue all right so we did the whole wrecking focus thing i think that looks really cool but now we have her running <laughs> no. <Because> she's cold <laughs> so we need to have her running so that she can actually yeah, yeah. and i think this looks pretty nice if you have a run in that direction Are you joking? no i'm not joking like you actually want me to run can you you want to pull it run. maybe franco wants to run he's photogenic i'm not well, it's quite difficult actually because is the the peaking is not perfect. So no, of course not. So it's red. <laughs> yes, it's red. <laughs> Matic. It's not disqueezed anymore. If you put it in slow and fast mode, which makes no sense to me, but I'll try to figure out why this happened. Too it's much actually human interesting. activity. Disqueeze for slow. Ah, okay, interesting. Reduce display. Oh, okay, yep, yeah, and go. Oh, we're not stable, all of us. And then he's like, mm. Man, that was. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I want to do one more, but you? like, Megan, you need to fall. Maybe also towards you. Like, you? run and trip. More, a close, more close to shot towards I would you. I love that. Yeah, I want to do like run backwards. But, but, but closer. But, but, but. I don't know if she's in focus. But she's not in the frame. And run, run. Okay, this one was tougher because I couldn't see a single thing. I didn't like that. Why? 
spices. I don't know. Like I didn't see much. I was feeling. Uh, uh, I didn't like that. No? She didn't like that either. Yeah. I didn't see anything because I was running. I just feel weird running towards. I told you I would look like a squirrel. Look at her smiling, and then her joy leaves her body. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, you're like this way. <laughs> Megan, you're. <laughs> I was like so happy and then You look pretty and then one second later like oh. <laughs> I'm actually going to film this, I'm going to film you Because that looks kind of cool with the background Yeah, with a swirly boca Yeah Sit right there in the middle. You didn't say please. Oh. <laughs> Are you ready? I don't know. What am I doing? Yeah, just like this. This is cool. I have a wrench in my butt. Okay, I'm coming. That sounded weird. Yep. <laughs> That setup is heavy ish. But it's actually quite alright. Oh but that looked amazing. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's way too many clouds. Otherwise, like we got a little bit of lens flares, and I actually like that that it's just you know like hinted at the anamorphic lens flares instead of like on your nose. But I would have liked to get a little more of it. Okay, I'm not no, good at this. I'm coming from the side again. Um, that sounds horrible. Stop I know, saying that's why that. I said it. It was, it was so I think we got enough of this location right here. So we're going to take a break, going to get some food, and then we wait until the sun set, and then we're going to the inner city because there is hardly any city more beautiful at night than Vienna with all the street lights, street 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 lights, uh, with all the street lights and anamorphic lenses. This will look amazing. And I will catch you then. Two hours later. All right, we just made it to the inner city of Vienna, and this is our second stop. And as you can see, it looks beautiful at night because we have all these lights, especially here at the Opera House. So this is where we're going to test the 24 millimeter, which we haven't tested all day. We're also going to test the 35 millimeters more, and I can't wait to see the lens flares on the anamorphic lenses. So let's rig up the handheld camera now. All right, we got another C70. C70 on the gimbal, C70 on handheld modes. And funnily enough, technically, for these lenses with the RF mount, there's only two cameras that natively work with these, and that's the Komodo and the C70. Luckily for us, we have two of those. I don't like these batteries at all. It's being powered by two of these. It makes the whole thing very heavy. So we're going to get rid. We don't need this one either anymore. So now we're going to use this one and we're going to plug it into our V-mount battery like we do on our Molnar. Molnar? Uh, yes, much better. So first of all, I just noticed that we're using the 24mm now and this is a 2.8 aperture instead of a 1.8 aperture on the 35mm, I didn't know that. So filming at night will be a little bit more challenging, but I think it will be okay. And looking at it, that looks nice. I'm not gonna lie, this looks cinematic. One thing that I just found out is that the 24 millimeter actually has barrel distortion. So you can see on the outside that it has this oval bokeh and that straight lines like this pole is actually bent a little bit and I love it. Like this, I love that look. It looks absolutely amazing. So 
this concludes our lens test and I think we have enough footage to make a fair judgment on the lenses as well as the monitors. And my first impression is I really like both of them because I was really impressed of how easy we could pull focus on these monitors and I also like the quality of the lenses and the lens flares as well as the bokeh. But make sure to subscribe to this channel to see the full reviews of the monitors as well as the lenses. YouTube also thinks that you should watch this video next because you might be interested in it. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then actually give it a thumbs up because it really helps the channel grow. And I hope to see you on the next one.